gents, welcome back to yet another video. Now, you guys would recall that in the past I've done a video on fear. I've explained how you can overcome fear, but in today's video, I want to dive even deeper into that. So today's video is going to be called How to Overcome Fear. If you're fearful of something, if it's if it's um, something as simple as afraid of the dark, afraid of, of people, afraid of closed tiny spaces, whatever it may be, but today... I'm going to teach you how to get over fear. I would like to thank you for tuning into the channel once again. Um, weather is kind of a mixed bag today. I don't know whether it's hot or cold. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. But I've gone the safe route. So, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, let's dive straight in. All right. So, first step, even though this wind is driving me absolutely nuts. Ah, oh, sh**. Here we go again. Um... But ladies and gentlemen, I would always say that the first step in overcoming your biggest fear, whether it's the boogeyman, whether it's slender man, is to face that fear. All right, now that may be a little bit extreme, but no, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, identify your fear. Define and identify your fear, because if you do not know what exactly it is that you fear, for example, if you have a fear of the dark, isn't it just because you have a fear of the things in the dark rather than the dark, darkness itself? Because think about it, right? So I always tell me, I always tell someone who, who asks me, you know, how do I get over this fear? I first tell them to define the fear. What exactly are you afraid of? If you're, if you're afraid of a job interview, why are you afraid of the job interview? Are you afraid that you're going to make a mistake in the interview? So dig deeper, identify the fear and dig deeper into the fear so that you can properly define it let's move on a few moments later okay so once you've dove in deep wait okay so once you've dived deep into the sphere you'll come to see that there are various elements of it right and as i mentioned i'm going to use the interview example are you afraid of being interviewed or is it rather that you're you're afraid of making a mistake during that interview because most often people can't properly define exactly it is what they fear right? They might not fear the interview itself. They might fear making a mistake during the interview. They might fear looking like an idiot. Same with darkness. People might not be afraid of the dark, but they might be afraid of, you know, things lurking in the dark. You always hear that saying, are you afraid of the dark or are you afraid of the things in the dark? And me personally, hey, the things in the dark take priority over the darkness itself. Stop the cap! <laughs> Stop the cap right now! Stop the cap! But... Once you've kind of identified the, the holistic picture of what you're afraid of, you have to dive deeper. You have to do some digging and you have to understand the fundamentals of that fear because only if you understand the fundamentals of that fear can you um, develop a plan to get out of that fear and, and only then can you build up enough courage to face that fear itself. So that's why I always tell people, don't tell me you're afraid of the dog. Tell me you're afraid of the things in the dog. Don't tell me you're afraid of, of a party. Tell me you're afraid of socializing, right? You see what I'm doing? I'm breaking it down into fundamentals. Ladies and gentlemen, very, very important second step. Very, very important. First step, identify. Second step is to dig deeper. Find the root cause. Find the fundamentals of that fear. Let's move on. Right, so, I hope you guys can guess what number three is. My final most important tip to overcome your fear is to actually go and face that fear. There's no use in you saying, oh, I'm afraid of heights and not actually trying to conquer it. There's no use in me saying, I can't squat heavy weight, so I'm not even gonna try it. Ladies and gentlemen, and that isn't an example actually, I was afraid of squatting heavy. And uh, as you can see now, I managed to overcome that fear. And yes, it was hard in the beginning. Yes, I still had that fear. That noise is scaring me right now. But anyway, I still had that fear. But the thing is, I've realized that if you never try to overcome it, you're never, it's always gonna have a grasp on you. It's always gonna have power over you and, and that is not what you want. If you want to be leveling up every day, if you want to be improving your life every day, if you want to be improving your confidence every day, man, woman, whatever, face your fears, ladies and gentlemen. It is, it is hard at the beginning, it, but take small steps, for example, Let's say you were afraid of diving into water. Let's just use that hypothetically, right? So, for example, you would start from just diving in from, from, from the height of the pool. 
then he would go maybe two feet up, then two feet up, then two feet up. And, you know, at the end of the day, you're going to be diving from insane heights without any fear. That's just a hypothetical example that I'm using, right? But the same goes for, for every fear that you have. Face it. Because if you don't face it, it's always, 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 always going to have that power over you. And that is not what I want for you guys as also... I would, did not want that for myself. I decided, you know what, screw it. I'm going to face this fear and I overcame it. So you can as well. Ladies and gentlemen, the power ultimately is in your hands. And I think to, to, to really end this video, let's, let's move to the next segment. If you guys know me, you know we have to end the videos in the office. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this topic. If you would like to see more topics like this, similar to this, I got a whole list of things that I'm going to try. Um, so there's a lot of content coming up this week, including a brand new podcast uh, that you guys do not want to miss. So make sure you leave a subscribe on the channel. And I'd like to thank you so, so much. And please don't forget before you leave this video that if you are facing a fear this moment, please know that you should not let that fear become your permanent defeat. I always say, I've said it in multiple videos, do not let the temporary failure mean permanent defeat. Just because you've lost the battle doesn't mean you'll lose the war. Ladies and gentlemen, keep safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in the next video.